And more moving forward icon of post-Soviet era, McDonald's will temporarily close all 847 of its outlets in Russia, including its iconic Pushkin Square location. American giant has joined a long list of Western firms who have quit Russia, putting country in financial isolation. McDonald's all quitting will also increase pressure on other global brands to pause operations in the country following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. The closure of McDonald's outlets will also carry symbolic importance in Russia, where first location to open in central Moscow in 1990 it was. It became a symbol of flourishing American capitalism as Soviet Union fell. McDonald's said it would continue to pay salaries to its 62,000 employees in Russia. Because of its large size and global reach, the chain is often copied by other brands. If it takes a stance on an issue or makes a major operational change, so others are likely to follow the suit as well. Major global brands including McDonald's and Pepsi, they have been pressured to withdraw from Russia by consumers and investors including New York State's pension fund. McDonald's opened in Pushkin Square in Moscow 32 years ago as Soviet Union was collapsing. That new outlet represented the thawing cold war tensions at a time when some young Russians were desperate to get their hands on blue jeans and other Americana. Of its nearly 850 Russian McDonald's locations, 84% are owned by the company and the remainder are mostly operated by Moscow-based franchisee Rosner Restaurants. Holding analysts say, meanwhile, McDonald's closures show how quick and broad imposition of Western sanctions on Russia will have. It will have a lasting economic impact as well. That McDonald's headquarters have got to be looking at this and saying that the global brand had to be saved at some point. There was a lot of pressure online from activists, from others who were sympathetic to Ukraine and wanted to complete the economic isolation of Russia. Uh, and so I think that eventually those concerns, plus all the direct economic concerns, really weighed on them. Uh, but in terms of what this means for the Russian brand itself, uh, you know, the McDonald's leadership have said that they don't know how long this pause is going to be, but you've got to think that seeing yet another major Western brand exit the Russian market uh, is not going to be something that Russian consumers or even more importantly, Russian political leaders are going to quickly forget. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.